Riding a nice winning streak here is the UFC Bantamweight contender, Raquel Rocky Pennington. She's had a knack for coming up in big spots and the biggest fight of her career, UFC 205, a domination of the former champion, Misha Tate. Now we'll see if Pennington can take it to the next level. Still under 30 years of age, Rocky Pennington back under the bright lights tonight. This girl has amazing cardio and stamina. It is one of her best assets. She keeps a very fast pace and you can literally see opponents start to wilt in the second and third round when they're being forced to try to keep up with her. So here is the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Amanda Nunes, really as well-rounded for my money as any 135-pound fighter on the roster. Her most seminal moment, certainly the win over Ronda Rousey, but every time Amanda Nunes has made that walk, she has impressed UFC fans every step of the way. Amanda Nunes, as her fan base continues to swell, her game continues to evolve. What a 135-pound fighter we are staring at. Amanda, the Lioness Nunes. This girl has excellent footwork. It's one of her strongest qualities. She is very difficult to hit, and she can close the distance and hit you very quickly. Very tough to train with anybody who can emulate the type of footwork that she possesses. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Both fighters, 29 years of age. Nunes will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding professional record of nine wins, seven losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Raquel Rocky Pennington! And now we're missing our opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 16 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda the Lioness Give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, man. We are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Heaven won five in a row in seven of her last nine. Here is the UFC women's bantamweight contender, Raquel Pennington, has a lot of skills that she brings to the table. Most of her finishes have come by way of submission, but don't sleep on the power. Raquel Pennington, one tough customer and a great example of what hard work can do for a fighter. Pennington in yet another huge spot tonight. Well-placed kick there by Nunes. Pennington gets caught with that punch. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and you know, Joe, she's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division. Let's see if she can find the range early here tonight. Nice left hand. So both girls landing right out of the chute. Oh, she connected flush. Pennington gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nice shot. She lands with the left hand. Nice 
straight there by Nunes. She blocked the punch. Nunez's strike attempt there is blocked. And there's a nice jab. That one hurt. Big left hand. Nunez gets caught with that punch. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Nice straight punch for her there. Oh, huge block for her. Just Joe. punches her very hard. Oh, beautiful lead right hand. That strike blocked by Pennington. Well, when you lean in like that, Joe, you are going to be vulnerable to that straight punch, and her opponent certainly saw the opening and barged right through it. Nice straight punch lands right to the bottom. Oh! The left hook hits home. This could be it right here. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Two minutes. She said during fight week. Wow, that left high kick came out of nowhere. Oh, that kick is good by Pennington. How about that chin? It appears the cut on her face is getting worse. Oh, she lands another strike. Oh! This could be it. seconds to go. Nice punch by Pennington. Whoa! Oh, big shot! Oh, she got rocked again! Oh, big wow. left! Oh, she tagged her. Oh, tagged her again. She hurt her. Oh, she got stunned again! Second round, straight ahead. Oh, saved by the bell there. There's the horn. End of the round. Thankfully, she will live to see another round. So back to the stool. She only has 60 seconds here to recover. We'll see if her corner physically and mentally can keep her in this fight. What a seminal moment there at the end of the round. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. You're in fight. Ready. All right, round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Couldn't agree with you more. Nice body work for her here, Joe. Pennington gets caught by the inside leg. And that left hook landed on the button. Pretty good jab there by Pennington. 
Oh, big shot. That is one of the worst broken noses I've seen. Lands a punch. Good job of timing strikes here. Oh, beautiful jab Good there. Right. Oh, huge right hand. Hand speed, man. This could be it right here. Body kick, look at that. Joe, but she left it wide open. She moved forward somewhat carelessly, and she has become increasingly more susceptible now to that strike. Let's see how it plays out here moving forward. Oh, there's a nice knee. Joe, that is one well-timed overhand there by Pennington. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh. Well, overall, her striking has been sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations, and it's gonna take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack here. Look at that, right to the temple. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Raquel Pennington. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Wow! Hard hook. Oh, Pennington's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, oh right hand. Something right hand. Oh, Big landed left the left hand, hand there. Back and forth we go. Oh, upper cut lands. Shot. We'll see where she goes from here now. Big punches here. Oh, straight right. Oh. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Looking for the left hook. Pennington gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. Nunes gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Nice leg kick. How about that shin? Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Oh! That one hurt. Connects with the punch there. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Nunes. That bruise on her outer thigh is really starting to get nasty. for the victory. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, Joe, so sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. Take a look at this from a different angle. I mean, just stiff. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Amanda Lioness of the Ring, Newman. All right, so another big win in a career full of them for American top teams, Amanda Nunes. Most people fancy her the most powerful bantamweight in the history of the division, and the Lioness certainly lived up to that billing here tonight. She was tested at times in this matchup, don't get me wrong, but a big 